What are we about to do, Chris? So we're gonna do a little Le Mans start. Oh, you got a head start. Mango snacks. Yes, yeah, so we got 2,800 vert of climbing. That's why we have the e-bikes, because they help us go to the top a lot quicker. Hey guys, I'm Chris, a gearhead at Backcountry. I'm Ian, gearhead at Backcountry as well. And we're out here testing a couple of e-bikes that we have on the site. This one specifically is the Ibis Oso. By the time you're watching this video, it would have just launched. So we're getting some early impressions and, and some testing done on it. Um, what's the plan for the day? Yeah, so we are putting it up against, you know, a trusty steed, the Heckler. That's been out for a couple years now. Uh, we've gotten great feedback from the customers on it and we know what it can do and what it's capable of. So we're going to put these two bikes through their paces. They both have pretty similar platforms. The Oso is stock with 155 mil in the rear, so a little bit more travel than the Heckler. And then they put a 38 on it with 170 mil up front, so this thing is slightly slightly more capable from a suspension standpoint but i think what we're really looking to compare is the the bosch battery system as well versus his shimano pretty similar battery life and uh yeah let's see how it goes yeah and luckily we're pretty similar riders in terms of weight and capability so it should be a pretty fair test yeah sweet let's get it <laughs> All right, well, we're about halfway up. What is that, like almost 1,500 feet of climbing? Yeah. Close to? Maybe a little bit less. A little bit less. How you feeling? How's the bike doing? How are your legs doing? I feel good, I haven't even broken a sweat yet. The bike is doing good. It's nice to like sit on it and get more comfortable climbing. I feel like you really learn a lot about how a bike feels just by like being in the saddle on it for a little bit. So it's mm -hmm. nice to like get some time on it. Uh, so it's starting to feel really good. I'm at about 74% of battery left. Okay. I uh, still, I don't have a percentage, I just have five bars still. Okay, but my, my fifth bar just dropped, so on the left here I have, it says I have four bars, there's 74% on the little gauge. Okay, so I'm guessing I'm probably around 80 and it should drop around probably 75 like yours just did. Yeah, cool. Cool, well we'll see. We'll see, I bet they're at a pretty similar rate, but we'll yeah. see what it's at at the end of the day. I mean, we've been going the same pace, we haven't been, yeah. you know, differing much at all, so. Yeah, it's exciting. It's real pretty up here. Not a bad day to be out, and it's uh, really fun on these e-bikes. We'll see you on the trails. What are we about to do, Chris? All right, so we are just below the summit now, and this is kind of like the classic last super steep pitch. And uh, Ian challenged me to a race. Yeah. So we're gonna do a little Le Mans start on our bikes, or off our bikes, run up, grab them, and see if you can get to the top first. Yeah. I'm probably gonna lose. Better uh, tighten up your boas, bud. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Three, two, one. Oh, you got a head start. Oh no, my bike's not in boost. My bike was not in boost. Ah, damn it. Ah, I lose. I did it. You did it. We made it to the top. You won. I won. 56% battery left and great trails to ride. I wasn't in boost mode when I started. It was actually off. And then I fell. Why'd you do that? No, I hit a rock. Bounced off course. We're into the loose stuff, spun out. Tried to get back on like five times. Didn't work. Did you but, put it in lock mode? 
Thank God for Walkman. These are 50 pounds, so they're not the lightest bikes up there. In both the Shimano and the Bosch, they have walk mode. So you press and hold this button and it pedals a little bit for you. So just makes pushing it up the hill that much easier on a long hike a bike. So that's nice. So I've never ridden this before. So we gotta see where we actually go. So not down rocks. We kind of hug this ridge. This is spicy. <laughs> what are your thoughts on the heckler? Um, I want uh, one personally now. Yep. Definitely. Um, still gonna have my analog bikes because those are too much fun. I like the cardio, I like working out. But for long exploring rides. Yeah, it got us into somewhere really that we cool. don't usually come that often, so. Yeah, I mean it got us there and it got us there in and out quickly. Ride time was an hour, an hour and nine minutes for 26 or 800 vert and nine ish miles. Yeah, which is pretty decent for like yep. that would have been full on hike a bike. Oh, yeah, if we weren't on these, but yes, it would have been. Yeah, though, so it was great. It was nice yesterday. Got to ride it on like some super fun jumps and faster flow. Today, got to ride it on more chundery alpine style tech with a pretty gnarly rock garden. And I think it's a super well rounded beast. 170 up front is nice. I don't see any reason why I wouldn't long shock it to the 165 like they say that you can. Right. Like I think that would be the first thing that I would do to the spike. Um, mm -hmm. But I also didn't bottom it out the whole day. Um, yeah. So. I don't think I did that either. I mean, the 150 back here is pretty good. I'm surprised I didn't bottom it out in that mm -hmm. that big chunk alley there. But yeah, I could see somebody like our age getting this for these kind of rides. You know, mm -hmm. the long adventure rides that have a lot of elevation change and trying to get to places that you don't usually go. Yeah, I think it's also great for beginner riders that potentially don't have the fitness or the cardio. It's definitely a bigger price point to, to bite off on the, on the first, you know, payment, but mm -hmm. you can use them at turbo all the way up if you're just trying to like boost up a ride like we did and see how much battery we used, which I still have 55% left. Or you can use it in the, the eco mode and still get a workout, but maybe you're trying to keep up with your, your wife or your husband or somebody in your life that's faster than you. and. Yeah, something yeah. like that. I think is a, a great use case for for an e-bike. So whatever it is, drop man. a comment down below and tell us what you would use the Ibis Oso for, um, or the Heckler. Yeah, both great options. I think we put them through their paces today. Well, thanks for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe so you can keep an eye out for more review videos and comparison videos like this, the Heckler versus the Oso, and uh, we'll see you next time. Yeah, have a good weekend. See ya.